Tonight, from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the New York Jets. DA Sports coverage of the NFL has us on the west coast of the Sunshine State. Downtown Tampa's the spot, Raymond James Stadium. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the New York Jets. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you, and I'll tell you what. Next possession, the score, 7-0. slip across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, but their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Second and nine. They run with James. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. James has got it, complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just out. And he's gonna take it in for a Jets touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. On the ground, it's James. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They run the counter. It's James. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. On third down, Wilson flushed out right. And he finds Corey Davis. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Set, 
Now it's Wilson. Flush to his right. He finds his man complete. That's James. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now it's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. His throw caught right around the six. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Eluding the pressure right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly. The ball's going to be caught by Clark. He's got a Jets touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They run the counter. It's James. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. Here's Wilson. Buying time to his left. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he's going to get this to the 40-yard line. Wilson finding Crowder there. First down to York. They'll run on first down. James. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Joe Tryon there to make the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. James. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. On third down, it's James. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. So here, first and 10 now, down inside the 20. And to give this time to the tailback. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. Ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in it. He's got a man oh, complete. That no all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Denzel Mims, 75 yards. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. On first down, Wilson. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Jets. A big play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Jets... Get the quick strike touchdown. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take it. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll have a little bit of time to work with. 35 seconds until the break. Throwing now. Wilson on first down. Dancing to his left. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. And down to the 20. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw taken in by Landry. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As we thought they might do here in week two of the preseason, they've left their starting quarterback out there for this second quarter. And I would imagine we will not see him after halftime. Yeah, this is the time of year you've got to get your backup some reps and make sure you protect your starting quarterback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, he's certainly trying to earn his way into some more looks in the offense once the regular season heats up. If he continues to make plays like that, I think QB1 will look his way a little more often once the regular season begins. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Morgan. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, they run with Carter. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Another run on second down with Carter, and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. this down to the 18 good enough for a first down give him six yards and they do convert on third i definitely like the play call you don't expect it on third and five third and six do you you expect the pass play had a little courage there to call the run and boy they were successful
Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we bid you good night from Tampa.